inching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Takes it at the 7. And able to get this out to the 25. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. This defense for the Dolphins, they were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun. Strong. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Back to throw. Strong. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. The Lions at two and four here in the first half of the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so try to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Throwing on first down. Strong. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Brandon Jones. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Now this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. A chance for Waddle on the return. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. Off of play action, Tungabailoa. 
Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Number 70. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From the six. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. Now a play fake here on first down. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, strong. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 34 yards the game that time, another first down. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Looking to throw. Strong. This is caught by Williams. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers... And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Okay, the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll... A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That's to his running back complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Takes it at the 7. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Looking deep downfield. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big pickup of 38. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. On first down, strong. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That pass caught, it's Williams. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. On the ground with a tight end. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Brock Wright. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Blankenship. It's up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Ready, 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They fake the handoff. Now Tua rolling to his right. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Miami, and even 40 yards. Now he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path, a significant number. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Mostert, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The penalty yards marched off as they'll try again on second and goal. Once again, it's Mostert. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Touchdown run. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 21-14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be fielded inside to five. And they nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Throwing to start the drive. Strong. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw on second down. Strong. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. 
The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On second down, Mostert. Gets around him. And some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Oh, he put it on the carpet. A fumble. And this is scooped up by the Lions. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff coming left, Evans. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, 39 yards. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From the six. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now 
urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. To throw on third down, strong. And that is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Here comes the Lions punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Out to his left. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And all the way in from a Miami to year. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded right around the eight. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. They'll run right here with Swift. Room here to run. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 
Well, you gotta think that sooner or later, they're gonna hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. On second down, Swift. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Strong. This one complete to his running back, Jamal Williams. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Throwing on second and 14. Tua. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, and all the way in from Miami. Dolphins get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, and it's on EA Sports. third and short they'll try and pick it up through the air and that's out to the flat for Swift and he is going to have a Lions first down they needed three he doubled that he got six but they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away oh he dropped it and that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. A good pick up there, 22. They'll look to throw again. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. 
Going for the deep ball. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Keon Crossett. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. Finding room at midfield. Down the left sideline, Tyreek Hill. Touchdown, Dolphins. Add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Right back to Swift again on second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Eluding the pressure right. Right side to Williams. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Waddle now to return it. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pull it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And going deep for Hill. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too. And now it appears that the win, this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Running the counter with Mostert. Has some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Tackle made there by the UCF man, Mike Hughes. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. 
After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. 106 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is on air. And defensively, especially in the red zone, you've got to be able to at least slow him down and hold on for dear life. But he's able to get out of a couple of tackles there, and not enough people got there in time. Pretty poor on the defensive side of the ball. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded right around the eight. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Swift going to try up the middle. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. games together there's so much parody in the nfl a lot of close battles this was not one tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort yeah and you know as the game went on i think the defense kind of got together and said you see our guys on offense they're just putting up point after point we need to leave our mark somehow too and they did it pitching a second half shutout so for Miami, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they dip to 2-5 and five now with the loss. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.